Hello. Thanks for joining me today to view this Tasker tutorial. Today we are going to create a invisible screen lock. We will add gestures to unlock it. You can also add any information that matters to you on the lock screen as you will see in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Open Tasker and click on the Home button and select Add, to create a new project. Give it a name, call it Invisible Lock, or whatever you like to name it. Click OK. Make sure that you are on the Scene tab, then click the plus sign. Give the scene a name, I called it Invisible. Click OK. Resize the scene as big as you can. Click the setting button then properties. Change the background color to transparent by moving the slider to the left. And change the display as, to overlay. Click the back arrow. Click the magnifying glass then the plus sign. Select rectangle. Change the background to transparent. Click on the stroke tab. From the drop down menu, select down. And enter 75 for the stroke length. Click the plus sign. Select variable and then variable set. Create a new variable, call it lock, with at least one capital letter, and set it to 1. Click the back arrow. Click the back arrow again. Move this rectangle all the way to the left and top, resize it to be almost 3 fourths the scene height and about an inch wide. Click the plus sign to create a second rectangle. Again change the background color to transparent. Click on the stroke tab. Select right, for the stroke direction from the drop down menu. And enter 75, for the stroke length. Click the plus sign. Click on task then select if. Enter the variable name we just created and match it to 1. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on scene and then select destroy scene. The scene name will be entered for you. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on task then select end if. Move it to the bottom and left and resize it to an inch and about three fourth the scene width. Click the back arrow. Since we have to display the scene as an overlay blocking. I will add a way to exit while I am testing it in case I've missed something. Click the plus sign. Select text, we are going to use it as an emergency exit, later we will delete or convert. Increase the font size. And in the text area enter the word exit. Also change the text color to something bright, like red. Click the back arrow. Resize it any way you like, preferably in the center. Click on the text again, then click the tap, to add an action. Click the plus sign. Click on scene, then select destroy scene. Click the back arrow since the scene name is already entered. This is it for the scene. When you slide your finger down on the right side, and then slide right on the bottom, it'll destroy the scene. Now we need to create a profile and a task. 
Click on the Profile tab. Then the plus sign. Give the profile a name, I called it Invisible. Click OK. Click on State. Click on Display. Select Display State. Leave it on Off. Click the back arrow. Select New Task. Give it a name, whatever you like, I called it Invisible. Click OK. Click the plus sign to create an action. Click on Variables, then select Variable Set. Enter the variable name we created in the scene, I called it Lock. Set to 0. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign to create an action. Click on Scene. Then select Show Scene. Enter the scene name. Change the display as, to overlay blocking full window. Uncheck the show exit button. Click the back arrow. I am sorry I forgot to tell you to resize the scene in the landscape mode also, if you are like me, working in the portrait mode. Make sure that you make the scene as big as you can, and move the swipe down box all the way to the right and the swipe right box to the bottom. Click the play button to test the task. This is how it'll work, when the display is off, it'll change the variable lock to zero and that will trigger the scene to show. When you turn the device on, the scene will be up and running. The only way to destroy it is to swipe down on the right side then swipe left to right on the bottom. With this screen lock, you will still be able to pull the notification bar down but you won't be able to click on anything or open any apps. Go back in Tasker, and open the scene, from the scene tab, I am going to modify the, the emergency exit, since we do not need it anymore. You can either delete it altogether, or make it show something on the lock screen, like missed calls, time, weather. First thing, delete the action to destroy the scene from the tap tab. Click the back arrow. Click on the text to edit. Here, you can insert any variable that you want, I am going to add a user made variable called missed calls, that counts how many calls I missed, and that will show on the locked screen. You can add any text to show on the locked screen and even change it from transparent by adding a photo to show as locked screen. But you have to make it a background image in the scene itself, otherwise you won't be able to swipe on it.